So let's say that we have a meteor that touches down on Earth. When we stand 100 meters away from the meteor, we have a 30 degree angular size that we're measuring for the meteor. These two visual distances are the same and we wanna know the radius of this meteor. The strategy I'm gonna use is I'm gonna take this angle right here and I'm going to cut it in half down the middle. From here, I can redraw the radius of the center of this meteor to the surface. Notice that this gives us a small right triangle here where the opposite side of this triangle is the radius. The adjacent side of this triangle is the 100 meter radial distance to the meteor. And this 15 degree angle comes from the fact that we took this 30 degree angle and we cut it in half to make this right triangle. Now, if you look up the trigonometry equations, the tangent of your angle, which in this case is 15 degrees, is equal to opposite over adjacent, where this R term is going to be the opposite side and this 100 meters is going to be the adjacent side. From here, I can take this 100 meters and I can multiply it on both sides of this equation. And if you take 100 and multiply it by the tangent of 15, you should get an approximate value of 27 meters. So the radius of this meteor is about 27 meters and this is the solution to the problem.